Please welcome Norm Macdonald, everybody. They love you. They love you. No, you. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You're making, you're making Norm nervous now. He's, he's getting nervous now. But it's great to see you. But yeah, I haven't you seen too. you in such a long time. Yeah, I know, man. I used to, I, I, I used to have it. When you used to do the Drew Carey. <laughs> what? Give him a chance. No. No, listen, before you, uh, there, there was a, Craig, um, Craig used to be on a show called The Drew Carey Show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did the show right next door. You had yeah, the, the, yeah, the Norm yeah, McDonald yeah, show yeah, yeah. right next door. And then I, I remember uh, you were like, I, we had trailers, and I'd always be in my trailer. I, I like to go to my trailer and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then you'd be in your trailer, and you'd be writing movies, and then directing movies, and then yeah. you'd be writing books. Yeah, yeah, it was because I, I was trying to not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> But people, people are waylaid by your, uh, by your laid-back image. They don't realize what a furnace of ambition you are. Hey, that's true. I am. I'm, I zig when they zag. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It. It's, uh, listen, it's, uh, it's good. You don't smoke anymore. You look, uh, like, healthy. You, oh, you no, smoking? I quit smoking. Yeah, I, I read that on the side of the thing. <laughs> what did you say? Is it dangerous? It says it can kill you. No! Yeah, I realized like I was smoking all the time, and uh, it, it's like um, it's like uh, you smoke and you don't even get high. <laughs> and uh, well, you can't, you can't. It's, they're not mutually exclusive. You can get high and smoke. It's uh, not like you, you have the, to make a choice. No, I'm saying the yeah. cigarettes do not. Uh, oh, get you high. Yeah. Well, you can. There's a, there's a substance you can put in them though, if you want. Oh yeah, no, uh, I don't do drugs or alcohol. Or Neither do like I. That. You used to be. I thought you were an alcoholic. <laughs> Norm! No, but that's cool, because you're recovering. Yeah, well, slowly, yeah. In fact, with the, one of the uh, heaviest nights I ever had drinking was at the Crazy Horse slip, uh, Strip Team. <laughs> well, in uh, Adelaide in South Australia. Uh, I'll tell you about booze, though. I never drank. I drank three times in my life, and the second time I drank, I was like uh, 17, and I was in a bar, and I was drinking, and then a guy handed me these pills, and I ate them, and I drank, you know? Yeah, I, oh, I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about. And then I blacked out. This is, this is going perfectly so far, yeah. <laughs> so then I woke up, and I, this is my only my second time drinking. I woke up, and I was in a rehab, and what had happened is I had a guy that was an actual alcoholic like you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> befriended me when I was all crazy drunk and we each checked into the rehab and then they took my clothes and they only gave me a robe. <laughs> For what night? Three nights, I just say. I, I, I had to drink for 15 years before I got that. <laughs> You're a really fast learner. <laughs> well, do, do you think you stopped because you thought, oh, this stuff's dangerous for me then? I better not get involved in this. Yeah, I don't like things where uh, you take them and then you vomit. <laughs> Like you know, yeah, I, mean, I wish I'd met you when I was younger, man. You're gonna talk me right out of it. Well, like if you, if you like, if I, if, the, if I ate a ham sandwich and I threw up for four hours, I'd never eat a ham sandwich again. You make a decent point. You should go around rehabs telling people this. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You look in shape, though, man. You used to be quite thin, but you look kind of like, like you've been working out and stuff. Have you been working out? Uh, uh well, my abs, you mean? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Have you been working out? Have you got one of them ab things, you know, like that? Those ab, like those crunches? Yeah, yeah, like a crunch machine. Oh, well, mostly I'm, uh, mostly I work on my, uh, latissimus dorsi. <laughs> I don't speak the French, pal, what? so you're going to have to take me through it. They're the, the, the back muscles. Oh, you know where, where, yeah. I, where you go like this? Ooh. Yeah, and then your back, like, wings come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 you're growing wings? You're working out so much you're growing wings? Yeah, so I look like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a griffin about to pounce. Wow, you're scaring me, Norm. <laughs> you used to be so mild-mannered. Now you're like a roided-up gym rat. <laughs> No, I've never worked out in my life. Never once? I, no. I did it three times, but I blacked out and woke up in a rehab. 
That was a good time when you when when you were there though. You were who else? Artie Lang was working. Yeah, the great the show. Artie Lang. Oh, he's, was there. he's terrific. How's yeah. he doing? Is he all right? He's doing all right. All right. I'm a big fan of Artie yeah. Lang. Yeah. You you still friendly with him? Uh, yeah, you tell him I said hi. Guy. I will. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a great guy. And do you still do Howard's show as well? Do you do heroin? What? Howard? You know Howard Stern? Oh, Howard. oh do you do heroin? <laughs> do do you do heroin? <laughs> Did you do heroin tonight? You don't do Harry. I do do the Howard Stern show. Uh, right, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, do you do, I didn't mean do you do Howard as a, you know what I mean? No, I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, I, he's hard to do, you know, because he's, uh, he'll like hypnotize you. Have you done the show? I, I did it once, yeah. He's, he, I, I listen to the show, though. I'm a, I'm a fan yeah. of Howard Stern. Yeah. I, I think he's a great he's, man. Wow, he's very interesting. But when interesting. he speaks to you, and also you're in a little cl c c c closed play, and you don't realize people are listening, and sometimes yeah. you say something quite revealing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What, like you do heroin? That kind of thing? Because uh, that's going to make the websites tomorrow, Norm, no, I tell you. No, I've never done. I've never done. I've never done drugs. I've always been... You know what saved me from everything? Oh, look, it's Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeff Pearson right there. Jazz hands. All right, let's see him, man. Let's see the jazz hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, he's very disappointing uh, appliance. <laughs> Have you ever bought an appliance you thought was going to be thrilling and it's actually disappointing? Oh, yeah, I bought a toaster. Yeah, you go, well, that's a very similar idea, yeah. In fact, the toaster's more useful. Whoa! Now. Yeah, yeah, his head moves. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it again, move your head. Yeah, there you go. You want to get one of those? Yeah, he's got, he's got the comic timing of a young uh, Fred Allen. <laughs> He's got the comic timing of a young Sid James. Sid James? I love Sid James. Yeah, that guy's hilarious. Yeah, but he, he, well, not anymore. Did you ever see Carry On Camping? Yes, of course. I grew up on those, those movies. Yeah. Well, of course, you're Canadian. You'll have seen those yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, I love all yeah. those movies. Yeah, there were a lot of, uh, they were like camp, kind of uh, raunchy British comedies from the 50s and 60s. Yeah, right? yeah. Lots you, of it, people going, ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Like a lady would walk in with two melons. Yeah, she'd go like, <laughs> Like, Mike Myers did a bunch of that when he was doing the Austin Powers. He was doing a lot of, uh, you know, melon and uh, fruit-related yeah. comedy, which I had seen in the carry-on. Yeah. But didn't you find the carry-on films, as a child, very arousing? Yes. <laughs> yes. When you see attractive women walking around with melons, it's, it's like walking around a crazy horse striptease saloon in, <laughs> in Adelaide. I'd, hey, listen, Norm, we're completely out of time. So, um, let's do an uh, awkward pause or mouth organ. What would you... Oh, uh, you got a mouth organ? <laughs> I got one for you, sailor. Sure. You, uh, yeah. Can you play? No, I can't play, but I, I can sing a Bob Dylan song. <laughs> All right, do it. Uh, can you sing and have the organ in your mouth at the same time? Because that's a trick I've only seen done once before. It was a few years ago in Australia. <laughs> Wait, wait, are you, wait, are you ready? Yeah, 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 the other side. Wait, is it this side? Yeah, the side with the holes. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Right, slow down, down, slow down. Oh. You, you, you're going at it like you, you're like you, you're like you hate it. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. <laughs>